let's start with next problem statement based on do while loop so problem statement is write a program to display even numbers between 1 to 10 using do while loop clear so here what is the output of this program so first only display even numbers between 1 to 10 so first message is even numbers between 1 to 10 this is the message part ok this is the message after this message first line 2 number is there then 4 then 6 then 8 and then 10 ok this is the output looks like on the console or text mode window so message is first message is even number between 1 to 10 R and then after that message second line 2, 4, 6, 8 and 10 this is the output of this problem statement so write the code for this problem statement so first step is include the header files stdio.h and conio.h after that start program from writing main function that is void main third step is write the body of main function so we start to write body of main function in that first is declaration part so is there any need of variable if we want to any variable then declare the variable suppose we want one variable suppose in i so declare that variable after that clear screen that means whatever may be the previous output on the console that get erased by this statement or that built-in function after that what is the message the message is displayed only once means this message is above the for loop if we write the message inside the for loop or, or do while loop then what happens number of times that message is printed so message get printed only once so write that message above the do while loop so what is the message printed even numbers between 1 to 10 are slash n double quotes only semicolon now for displaying even numbers between 1 to 10 we can write code for that purpose we use while loop or do while loop so what is the syntax for do while loop do curly bracket body of do while loop then do while loop complete write condition and do semicolon so this is the structure for do while loop after that decide which body statements are we have to write here and what is the condition for the problem statement so what is the problem statement that is display the numbers between 1 to 10 which numbers only even numbers so we take some variable 1 i is equal to suppose we take i as a variable so check whether i is equal to take mod of 2 what suppose number is first number is 1 is it one number is even no why because mod of 2 what it gives you? It gives you reminder 1. If suppose 2, 2 mod of 2, what it gives you? Reminder 0. Again, 4 is an even number. So 4 mod of 2, what it gives you? 0. Means take numbers from 1 to 10. Take number from 1 to 10. Check mod of 2 means reminder with 2, number 2. If it gives you 0, that means that number is even. Okay. Mod of 2. What it gives you? If it gives you 0, equal to equal to 0, then only that number is even. Otherwise, it is odd number. So, first, we can take first 10 natural number. So, first number is 1. Take 1 as input. Check whether that number is even or odd. How we can check it? Using mod of 2. If mod of 2 gives you equal
equal to equal to zero, then only that number is even number. Print that number. So in the while loop, that's why we take natural number starts from one. So initial value of i is equal to one. Check in do while loop statement is while i mod of two is equal to equal to zero. Then only what is the message? Print the percentage d slash n because each even number is printed on the next line. So percentage d slash n and what is the number? I. If I first method I starts from one. So first I value of I is equal to one. One mod of two. What it gives you? One. So this condition is false. So body of if does not executed. Clear? What? What is the next step now? If I first one is not even number, then what we increase the value of I. So what is the value of I now? I is equal to I plus one. This is the second statement, and this statement is out of if, out of if. And what is the condition? Till I becomes ten. Till we continues the same loop because first we take one number. Check whether it is even. Take two number. Check it is whether it is two is even or not. Similarly. So what is the condition? I less than equal to ten. Clear. And after that, last statement is get ch and main function complete. So what is the execution flow? Check. Initial value of i is equal to one because we can take first ten natural number starts from one to Ten. So check first number. That is I. One. One mod of two. It gives you one. So one is equal to equal to zero. Condition false. So what is the I plus plus? Body of if does not get executed because condition is false. Next I is equal to I plus one. Initial value of I is equal to one. One plus one. I becomes now two. So two. Two less than equal to ten. Condition true. So loop get continues. After that, what is the current value of I now? Two. Two mod of two. What it becomes? Zero. So zero is equal to equal to zero. Condition true. So execute the printf statement. Means what is the current value of I? Two. So first two get printed on the console. Next I plus plus means I is equal to I plus one. So two plus one it becomes now three. So three. Less than equal to ten. Condition true. So loop get continues. Now three mod of two. It gives you one again. And one equal to equal to zero. Condition false. So next line that is i plus plus. Now i becomes four. So four less than equal to ten. Condition true. Again loop continues. Now four mod of two. What it becomes zero. So condition true. So print f percentage d. What is the value of i? Four. So third line. What four get printed? Similar way, I get incremented. Now, if value of I becomes ten, that is last step. Ten less than equal to ten condition true. Then ten mod of two, it gives you zero. So condition true. Again, but print ten. So last number is printed. That is even number. Next step, I is equal to I plus one. Now I becomes eleven. And eleven less than equal to ten condition false. So loop get terminated and cursor goes to the next line of the do while loop. So last statement is get ch. That means to freeze the console and we got the expected output on the console. That is two, four, six, eight, and ten. This is the expected output of your program. Understood? Okay. So today we will stop here.